in my village up in Yorkshire, we lived in like a, um, a dip, like that, and there was a woman in my village, no one knew her name, she was just known as 10 to 2, because whenever it got icy, she used to walk down the hill with her feet like that, going 10 to 2, 10 to 2, 10 to 2. <laughs> no one ever found out her name. Even, even in the summer, people would be like, there's 10 to 2, 10 to 2. 10 to 2. <laughs> Think of asking her name. I just love the idea that it's like fair enough. She's got her own walking technique, but she felt the need to like say it out loud to herself as she was doing it. She's good. Ten to two. Ten to two. Amazing. You get more Yorkshire every week on this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd hear from you. Uh, when I was in Yorkshire, we lived in a dip. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, I am the second most well-known person from my village, except for 10 to 2. Shout out to 10 to 2. <laughs> <laughs> we're all happy. We're all happy in, in dip. Uh... <laughs> she, fell, she, she fell down dip one day. She became half past six. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like nursery rhymes. Oh, no. Grand old Duke of York, manic depressive. Well, when he was up, he was up. <laughs> <laughs> Probably lived in a dip. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that doesn't normally work. <laughs> Maisie, which category would you like? Uh, world news, please. Lovely. Your topic is mm. world news. The answer is 100 days. What is the question? Uh, is it how long has January lasted for this year? <laughs> <laughs> is it um, after it's rained, how long does it take to get out of a dip? <laughs> <laughs> They're all naked. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but I think I've fallen in love with a scullery maid. Apparently, she grew up in a place called The Dip. Ten to two, ten to two, ten to two. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. I'm help. <laughs> Are you okay? I, I wouldn't have fallen over, but there's a dip. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Start out with a round call if this is the answer. What is the question? On the board are six <laughs> categories. Ara, which category would you like? Uh, may I have world news, please, Dara? An excellent start. Your topic is world news. The answer is 40 million. What is the question? Is it how many people did my mother want to invite to my sister's wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Last week's episode, how many tweets have I had asking, how's life in the dip? <laughs> <laughs> is it, um, since last week's episode, how many times have I watched the clip of Angela falling over? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we have COVID marshals down on... Um, I live in Brighton and they're down on the seafront looking for people who aren't from the same household to, to tell off. And I, yep. um, they, were, they were going up to loads of like young couples going, are you two from the same household? And me and my boyfriend were walking along and I was genuinely quite offended they didn't ask us because I thought, <laughs> I thought we were still in that sort of early phase where we looked sort of, um, you know, exciting, but clearly we were giving off the vibe that we'd lived together and we were very settled <laughs> and had just had an argument about whose turn it was to unload the dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Either that or even, even worse, Maisie, they could have looked at you and gone, brother and a sister. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's all legal, in it? <laughs> <laughs> I quite like AstraZeneca. It drives really well. You're listening to Motoring Today on Dip FM. <laughs>